Hey everybody and welcome to A Gay View. Uh, we have our special guest today yes. and very important topic. We have Dr. Cheryl Fackelman. And um, you know, what's really interesting is she's a certified gender therapist and sex therapist. You can also catch her on gshradio.com, this Dr. Sarah show. We have Miss Aaliyah and we also have Miss Nebula who is a performer and also a lounge singer. And of course you have myself, Joshua, um, host of Ebor City TV. Now we're going to be talking about a very interesting issue when it comes to uh, transgender equality and, and then um, so what I want to talk about is what at what age do we need to start paying attention to our youth when it comes to gender identity? And I know that you're probably, you've been experiencing this for years, so how, how do we yes. deal with this? And you know, it, it's one thing that's very, very important. People are not paying attention to the youth, and it's very, I mean, from birth, from the time of birth, children know. Children already have a sense of identity. By the time they're three years old, many of them can say, do not put me in a dress, do not put me in pants. They want to be the opposite because the brain is saying one thing and the body parts are saying something else. Mm -hmm. So, and by the time they're five, I mean, there, there's no argument. But people, uh, many people think this is just a phase. Mm -hmm. They're just going through a phase and they'll grow out of this. And maybe sometimes certain children, they like to, they want to, they're little boys and they want to dress like princesses, but that's, that's not, that's not the majority. That's, that's not the norm. The norm is children, when they say this is wrong, they know what they're talking about. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Do you think that parents uh, can tell, like, if a kid is trans or is just entertainment wise? Because there's, there's boys that like to dress like girls. But it's because of the entertainment part of them, like they like dancing or they like whatever, doing that thing. Do you think there's a way to tell the difference? Well, as far as parents are concerned, that's why they come see me to get to get help because they're very confused about this, and they many of them want to stop it, which is totally wrong. And then there are others who want to help their children to be to feel accepted, to have good self-esteem. So it, it depends on every individual child, and it's something that there are certain key factors, and there are certain things that we have to look at. Hmm. I know definitely when I was growing up. My parents definitely knew <laughs> from the get-go because when I came out to them at two years old, they were like, "Okay, what else is new?" You know, so it's it's um you know, and and I'm and I'm thankful to have parents like that. It's just not everybody has that situation, which is sad. So let me ask you. I, I don't have kids. I have a cat, and she's terrible company, but I still love her. Um, but I do I do have a million nieces, um, and so if, if my niece comes to me and uh, right now she's four years old and she says, Theo, you know I, I'm a boy. What? How do I? How am I supposed to to act towards that? Being a supporting family member. How would you act if she said, "I'm a girl"? You would act the same way. You would say, "You would say, what would you like to do today?" Okay. So if she said, "Well, I want to play football," or "I want to, I want to get," you know, the toys that the kids are using today. I know back in my day it was trucks. You know, they've got Ninja Warriors and Turtles. I know that's passing. But but what is it that the child wants to do? Do not discourage the child. We. Society sets up roles. They set up gender roles. And if you're a little boy, you must play with this. And if you're a little girl, you must have dolls. And it's just not that way anymore. I mean, that child may not even consider themselves male or female. They may, and I know this is for later on, but they may consider themselves gender neutral. Neither boy, neither girl. And we really just need to show them love and show them that we accept them. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. They are a human being. We love Love them. So the best thing that I could do for my niece or anybody is just at the end of the day to express love and acceptance. Uh, tolerance, respect, acceptance. Absolutely. Okay, okay. And do you guys have any final points on this? Well, I have one thing. Um, just know that if, if she does come to you and says that she wants to be a boy, just know that she's not your property. You know? Know that she's not your property and know that Either way, she's still gonna be who she wants to be, regardless. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't take that away from her. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much for letting us know about this topic. I was so worried about this topic because I wanted to make sure that we were able to talk about it the right way, present it the right way, but you guys have made life so much easy. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for tuning into A Gay View. And we're here at the Ybor City Wine Bar. Thank you so much to Jamie Kosar, our host. Thank you.